what's up youtube what's up youtube it's curly victoria i am back with another video so i just kind of want to get through this video um i have on all black because i'll be wearing putting on a lot of different trench coats so i'm going to be showing you my luxury trench coat collection trench coat number one y'all as you guys can see you can kind of see the bottom half or maybe i should like let me see Yeah, y'all kind of can see the bottom half of this trench coat. Um, I'm going to turn this way so you can see it from this angle as well. But this is just like that. Every time I wear this trench, I feel like this is like an inspector. Um, then inspect like I'm supposed to be doing like, I don't know, a home, um, like quality control or some type of inspections. But I love this trench coat because you can't, you know what I mean? It's your everyday type trench coat it's nude like family but it's it's more tan than it is nude please excuse my feet y'all i need a pedicure and like i've my two pinky toes are like black because i've been y'all i'll be running into stuff it's just the truth but anyway this is my luxury uh, trench baby so something like this i'll just throw on with something like if i have business to handle it's nothing to throw on some high heels you know what i mean and actually just go about my day with my trench um i can keep my outfit super simple another trick for my ladies um if you have a dress that's super cute and you're like bro this is a little short if i'm you know working and i'm showing off some things it could show a little too much if it's not throw on a trench coat like you love that dress throw on a trench coat throw on an oversized jacket because it will hide the fact that the dress is as short as it is because you have something over it I used to do that all the time because I love fitted dresses for the workforce I prefer the fitted ones that come under your knees but I did have some that sometimes would come right a little shorter especially when you walk um because you know like we built like that if you got you know what I mean like if you got cake for days back there if you got glutes if you be working out and stuff like that like what they think your dress gonna stay flat or whatever it's gonna rise because we got the cake in the back hello we got the wagon but anyway i'm sorry y'all but no that's just a little trick that i use when i feel like a dress is like bomb.com but it might be a little shorter just put it right up under a trench coat and call it a day so let's move on to the next coat burberry coat it just feels so expensive okay this is a size two um and this trench coat is everything and just so i can um let you guys know some department stores like tj maxx ross and stuff like that have a lot of you know designer pieces that come to their store they could be a little pricey so i'm going to tell you guys where things come from like i've got my some of my trench coats and stuff from a marshall's a tj maxx or ross and those trench coats have cost me like 40 50 dollars so don't let's not sleep on the fact that it came from tj maxx or whatever because of the quality the brand it will cost me that so the coat that i just had on the trench i just had on i if i believe i got that a while ago from tj maxx this burberry trench coat that i have on i got from one of my favorite designer boutiques um it's super unique because you don't find this on burberry's like website because it's a unique coat that like came out some time ago you know how some stuff is like more limited edition so to be able to find this when i found this a couple years ago was like bomb it's like a goldish tan but it's also kind of like iridescent and it kind of has that material as you guys can kind of see in the the view right there you can kind of see what the back looks like and then the sides but this is super, super comfortable, super, super luxurious. And if you guys know anything about Burberry's trench coats, they could be like $1,800. They could be like $1,000. They could be like literally in the thousand range and up. Okay. They go up, up, up. So when I saw that this one was super unique as well, I just had to have it a couple years ago. And I know some people are like, girl, some designer stuff is just too expensive. People always, oh, I don't waste my money on that. I don't do this. I don't do that. But I'm not you. You see what I'm saying? I look at my designers as an investment because, as an investment because over time, I keep them so long and I take care of them to where you guys are like, when did you get like, is that new? And it's like, baby, no, it's taken care of. But that's how I invest the money that you said you would never spend. Mind you, you're going through 
trench coats every other week because you have cheap ones. Just saying. To each his own, let people do what they do and you do what you do, okay? Move it on. All right, y'all, so the next trench coat that we're rocking here, you guys can kind of see the, the ends of it. This is, you know, I got this one from a Ross and I got this for like, it was like 40 or 50 bucks. Um, super, super um, comfortable. It literally has a um, suede feel to it and it's just literally comfortable. Okay, so like I told you guys, the Burberry coat was a, a two, a size two, and these are like smalls. So, yes, honey, luxury at its finest. Do we see this? Get into the look. Get into the look, baby. Get into it. The only way to get through it is to get into it, baby. <laughs> okay, let me move on to the next coat. So our next coat is this oversized. Oh, I love the color so much. It is just a really pretty color. Definitely like a fall, winter vibe. More fall, but you know, because I feel like I could be whatever season I want whenever I want, I will wear it whenever I want. But basically, this is a nice one. It buttons. It's a little big on me, but I like it because whenever I have to bundle up, I can wear thick clothes and it still will buckle. So I have it on the absolute last buckle and sometimes I'll wear like a scarf or something to kind of like close it in and I can rock it like that. Or like I said, I could rock it open with some boots, you know, but most of my trenches come just about this length. They come right around that like, you know, kneecap length, but super cute, super super cute i got this one a long time ago from like ross for like 50 bucks i believe 40 50 bucks um super affordable super cute super me period moving on it's a gray coat it's a bit bigger big for me i have not um let me see yeah so it actually can button all the way down kind of like a pea coat look but most of my trenches i just wear open um, if I have a scarf, I'll put it right under there, like right here as a scarf vibe. But most of the time, I will just, you know, on a professional look, put my outfit right underneath. You know what I mean? And then pop on some heels. And again, this one comes right about the same length. And I got this one a long time ago as well from a Marshalls, I believe it was. And was it Marshalls or it was Ross, I think. And... I got this from a Ross and it was same thing like 50 bucks 40 50 bucks moving on so our next coat is this coat from Zara you know Zara coats are like they're good trench like coats or regular coats are like a good almost hundred dollars so got this a long time ago this is exactly what it looks like it's gray I did cut the shoulder pads out I wasn't happy that I damaged the inside of my jacket just a little bit by creating slits to get the shoulder pads out but I feel like um Zara and all you other designers y'all need to like make shoulder pads and stuff like that optional like maybe create an opening to where if people want the pads keep them that way and if they don't they could just slide them out without ripping the inside because like the insides were so perfect and I've had this for so long but I still ended up just cutting it because I wanted the shoulder pads removed but if you guys can see this one's a little bit shorter comes about mid thigh but it's definitely a vibe definitely a vibe find myself rocking this one quite often it's just the gray and the slim fit look it's just it's so dapper to me do y'all see that like get into it get into what was said <laughs> i'm sorry that's what it looks like when i have this what was said step into my office so that we can go ahead and address it <laughs> let me move on y'all coat pea coat like vibe is like this trench coat is like when i'm up in the dmv type vibes i did have to pull it out and everything this season while i was in here at my house because it was super cold outside but it's more of that you know what i mean this is one looks like i'm supposed to be in new york somewhere i have worn this in new york actually i think so yeah but it literally buttons all the way if i'd like to button it and wear that like look or I can keep it open like I told you guys but if I button it kind of gives that you know what I mean that slim fit fitted look 
such a vibe. This one comes just a little bit above the knee. But such a stinking vibe. Can't remember where I got this one from exactly. I think I thrifted this one. A long time ago I thrifted this one. And it was an old navy coat. And um, it was just so nice. And it was like brand new. Yep, old navy. It was brand new. And it just so happened to end up in the Goodwill. And I just so happened to buy it because it was like a good coat. It was out of season that I bought it. Okay, so this is the next look. I love this jacket, this trench coat. It's from New York and Company. It's probably one of my favorite coats. It's black as well. Um, it's just that standard trench coat vibe. Like, I know it kind of looks like the other one, but the other one is more of that felt velvet feel. Well, not velvet, but more of a felt feel. And this is more of just a sleek, water resistant type vibe. Um, really, really lightweight, but it does the job super cute super me super everything my stomach is so bloated and you can see my belly button through my shirt it's just like so not cute but it is what it is um that's that one of my faves literally one of my favorites moving on okay so this next coat here i can't remember let me make sure yep winter just as i thought i got this coat from winter for like 50 bucks and it actually could be worn as a dress as well as you guys can see super cute but you can literally wear this as a dress which to the people who were hating if you shall see this video this is for you okay I'll put this on i wore this too as a dress with shorts underneath it to go to like with some heels to go to an interview in my past and basically long story short instead of being honest about basically I feel like, I don't know, I just kind of felt like people were intimidated, but they told me that my dress was too short and in tried to make it in a nice way, but there's no nice way to say that to somebody. Um, and I had some shorts on under here and long story short, I was supposed to, I was literally like the most competitive candidate for the position and was on like round three of the interview. And instead of me actually making it to round three and interviewing, excuses were made up but I'm just like, you You do understand this. You cannot discriminate against the basis of like certain things. Especially with the, with the position in which I was applying for. So, just be glad that I wasn't the type of person who was going to sue y'all. But, um, yeah. But long story short, this means so much to me. Because sometimes I wear it as a trench coat. Sometimes I wear it as a dress with shorts. But I just find it crazy how um, a job paying less than a million dollars a year could be so judgmental when I walked into a 1.3 and a 1.6 million dollar house shortly after I was being told that my dress was too short you know what I mean for real estate purposes I walked into 1.3 1.6 million dollar house and I just find that like if I'm around sellers who are selling their homes for 1.6 million 1.3 million with dresses like this and stuff like that and they have no problem then why do you have a problem when y'all don't even sell you know what I mean? Y'all don't even give people a salary of a million dollars a year. And the thing about it was I only was getting the job to get some experience in that field because it's a part of an industry that I am into and I wanted more experience in that specific industry. I didn't need the job. I didn't necessarily have to have the job, but the simple fact that y'all discriminated not even knowing what I was already capable of and what I already had going for myself. Yeah, that was a flag. So shout out to that jacket. And shout out to the people who thought that one little outfit really can dictate the mind and the ability that one has to be able to positively impact your team and increase your sales and increase the volume of the people in which you have coming and ultimately potentially increase your position because I'm doing so well. But shout out to you. What's meant to be, it always finds its way. So moving on to the next jacket. Period. Do y'all see this? I got this from Windsor a long time ago as well. So dapper. Just look at it. Do y'all see the details? Carula DeVille will, could, she could never. Man, she could never. <laughs> but yes, this is just literally like a, what was said? You know what I mean? Like so professional. Like, so you said you wanted to close on the house. Great type of vibe. Okay. So this was 
literally i've worn this trench coat so much i get so many compliments on it so beautiful but let me get to the last last thing in the collection because the camera light is flashing don't want the camera to die so let me get this last one in okay so this is the last jacket y'all this green jacket i got from ross a long time ago on sale actually and it just literally is a water resistant type of jacket something to work out in something to go to the airport in something to actually you know on a rainy day for like maybe like a real estate open houses or something like that but this can be awesome as well but do y'all see this a vibe a vibe i think you just should keep an army type of green or olive green in your closet just for the occasions it's just something that's like a must have so i hope you guys enjoyed this video Give it a big thumbs up, like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video. Later. It's only 11 something, but why does it feel like it's too